little story here about something that happened in the, uh, when I was about uh, 15 years old. And uh, it's going to start out at uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, when uh, me and another guy was going to go out in the mountains to try to trap and catch some wild horses. And we met a guy there, and uh, uh, my partner went on with him uh, uh, to his home, and they were coming back a different way, and they told me how to get there. Well, I started out, and they said that tallest mountain, after you get out there where you can see them three mountains, why that tallest mountain's the one you want to go to, and they told me how to find the place when I got there. Well, anyway, well, I traveled all day with them pack horses and pack burros, and I think I was following goat trails and deer trails. It was quite a trip, and uh, we, I got over there, and uh, it was night, you know, about dark, and uh, I built a fire and hobbled my horses out. Well, them horses, they got to snorting and running in towards camp and I looked out there in the dark and I could see some big old eyes around and uh, I was pretty much scared and uh, that night I piled everything I had around my bed and slept with my head up against this tree and uh, I was glad when morning come and uh, so I had to go back that same trail but then later why these guys uh, come looking for me and they found me and uh, so we went on to this place uh, where this man had this uh, shack on the side of the mountain and we uh, chased some wild horses over there and finally uh, uh, we got to trapping over there and I had a string of traps and one thing uh, I'll tell you about, I caught a great big old bobcat and that is a doggone biggest bobcat I ever saw and I didn't have too many bullets that had come a big snow and so I thought I'd just uh, kill this bobcat or the rock, save my bullets. So I got up, you know, a little too close and threw the rock and I kind of skimped the top of his head. Well, the next thing I seen was that bobcat right in my face and I didn't have time to run. So I just fell over backwards and, and scooted myself as far as I could. And when that bobcat hit the end of that chain, well, I turned him a somerset in the air, and uh, his feet lit on my feet, but my feet didn't stay there very long. I was getting out of there as quick as I could, but I didn't try any more of that rock stuff. I used a bullet on that bobcat <laughs> right away, and uh, yeah. Uh, another little incident happened about this time up there while I uh, uh, thought my horses was getting pretty gentle, so I was turning them a foot loose and never hobbled them and uh, one day there's a wild bunch of horses came by and uh, so these horses of mine they just stuck the tails up over the back and took in behind them wild horses and I never have uh, seen them horses since and so that just uh, left me with one burro and uh, so that burro he uh, got pretty familiar with me and I fed him some sourdough biscuits that I made up there and uh, so I think them were pretty good biscuits because one day he came in when there wasn't nobody in camp and he ate up all the sourdough and we didn't see nothing of that burro anymore for about three days we finally found him standing up on the side of the mountain and I guess that sourdough had swelled up in there he still thought he was full of food, and uh, I'm going to have to brag on them biscuits because that's Budo. He still looked very contented just standing up there like he just had a meal. Uh, one little incident happened about that time there, this uh, Budo. I was camped on Canyon Diablo, and that's the big canyon over there in Arizona. And uh, so this Budo, uh, he ran off and went back to the old camp, which uh, I thought he did, about 25 miles. And this other guy uh, was supposed to be camped over there at the old camp. And I walked all day and got over there, and there wasn't no Budo, and there wasn't no camp. So the only thing I could do was turn around and walk back. It was about 25 miles, and I took me about all night. And uh, so I had to watch out for this uh, steep canyon, you know. But anyway, I finally got back home, and that Budo, he finally come back into camp, you know. And I was pretty glad to see him, and he acted like he was glad to see me. And I think he was looking for some more sourdough or, or wanted to eat some more of them there biscuits or
or something or another. So uh, anyway, I uh, I guess that looks to me like that's going to be about the end of the tape here. And I guess it's a good thing because my memory is getting so it ain't but about an inch long. <laughs>